There's the start list for the long jump. Like we said, Lee Madcock, Jeremy Andrews, David Chen, Hamish Gill, Angus Gould, Shemaya James, Kurt Jennett, Christopher Matrevsky, Darcy Roper and Habiki Suha. We see a big opening jump there from Adcock. Tough to get right in these windy conditions. Seven fifty two there for Adcock. Matrevsky has got a seven ninety so far this year. Seven ninety two PB. He's in a bit of shape. He won the Victorian 100 metre title, so he has got a bit of speed. See what he can produce in hopefully uh, legal wind conditions. Oh, just get a bit of over rotation there. Not a bad jump, though. They are going to measure it. But uh, probably not what he was after on his first round attempt. The wind keeps getting the red flag for these jumps, so it's probably fine that they're not getting anything big out there. Obviously, when you want to go big, you need it to be 2.0 or less. Big jump there from the New Zealander. Fortunately, just getting that red flag. Hamish Skill there. He's in PB form. 7.43 is what he's been dealing out this year. He's very, very close to it. David Chen next up on the runway. Chen's jumped a big 7.46 this year. He's only a young athlete. And plenty of speed on the runway. Sending it out there, but I think he might see the red flag as well. He's been given the double red wind and unfortunately a foul as well. We might see this follow the same trajectory as the girls did earlier. First few rounds just filling out the wind conditions. Biggie Suha now up on the runway. Round two and a big first round jump. Let's see what he can produce in these windy conditions. Well, that was a big jump. Plenty of speed. I think we might see the red again. It's going to be tough work out there.
Kurt Jenner now, Westfield's athlete. He's got a 7.69 PB. He's gone 7.57 so far this year. He's been given the white flag. We haven't seen that very often in these early rounds. Uh, 7.39. Next up on the runway, Darcy Roper. He's gone 7.57 this year as well. He's medalled at every international meet that he's been to. Silver at the World Youth Champs. Bronze at the World Junior Champs. And that's 2015-2016. He's got an 8.01 PB that he did back when he was only 17 years old. Let's see what he can produce. Oh, it's out there, and I think he's going to get a white flag for that one. He has. I'm not sure what he's going to get from the wind gauge. But uh, I think they might put him into the lead for these first. Plenty of speed, though. He won the under-20 title in the 100 for Queensland. So in the 770s, so I think they might put him in the lead. 776. Jeremy Andrews, WA athlete. He's in PB shape, 761 so far this season. It's a big foul. A few athletes really getting amongst the clay out there. And we'll have the results for the high jump coming through shortly. There it is, Nuraj Singh Randwana, 225. Nick Boych, the big season best there, 219. Lee Hookway, 216. Joel Baden, 210. Sato, 210. Grand Zalek, 205. So Boych there, the first Australian. Taking a couple of scalps there, he should be happy with that. Angus Gould, next up on the runway, local fella. 7.90 PB. Went to the 2015 World Uni Games. Got a 7.71 so far this year. Normally jumps in splitties. It's interesting to see him jump in a... Looks almost like a bodysuit. Plenty of speed. Probably around that 7.40, 7.30. Yeah, Lynchy, you mentioned that bodysuit. The bodysuit, the Ginandera Tigers, one of our athletics clubs here. He represents the Ginandera Tigers quite proudly. And I think it I think it helps him. I like to see it. A lot of the older senior athletes from that club love to rock the bodysuit, which is always fantastic. Yeah, when someone produces a good bodysuit, it's hard to say no. Yeah, definitely, Lynchy. I'm sure you've worn a few in your time, just like I have, and it's it's always special to get out in the bodysuit. I always found the bodysuits hard in a 400. I just needed I needed the I needed the.